Hey guys, it's Tommy CM. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a another spotlight. Um, I don't know whether to call this a ride spotlight or a park spotlight. It's a bit of both. Um, this is called Crystal Eye. Um, now this was created by Silex, who is a fantastic creator on the PlayStation Workshop. Um, the description he's put says, immerse yourself in an extraordinary underwater world formed thousands of years ago in an extinct volcano called Crystal Eye. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there is a lot of terraforming <laughs> that's been done here. Um, now this is the this is the whole park. There is other sections to it, um, but there is the one coaster uh, and the chairlift to get you up, but, um, which is why I wasn't sure whether to call it a park spotlight or a ride spotlight. However, um, I am very excited to take a look at this. Um, he always does make some fantastic creations. So uh, yeah, we will uh, start by taking a walk out of the tunnel here. And we get down to Crystal Eye. So the very, very busy queue for the chairlift down here. Um, and I, I can see why, because if I walked up to that, I certainly would not be taking that path up because um, I would be uh, I would be pretty uh, pretty tired by the time I got to the top. So uh, yeah, that's the queue for the chairlift. It's a nice little building that is as well to go uh, to go as part of the uh, part part of the, you know the queue for it. And we've got newspaper we've got a newspaper um, framed. Are they, what, what piece are they? Is that is that an actual piece? Oh, it's a glass window. Oh wow, that's a that's very nice. So that basically is a glass window with a newspaper behind it, and then a, um, a coaster support. Is that? Yeah, that's very nice. I like that. Really, really good idea that. You see, it's it's about it's about finding those pieces that just work um, together to create something else. Um, right, the host and devil's pass. I'll go to the host first. Got some nice toilets there. Again, you know, if you don't want to, if you don't want to put a doorway or anything in front of the door, in, in front of the toilets, do what Silex has done here and color the color these horrible tiles that you get. Color them in. To match the building and it it doesn't stand out as much you know it, it just works like that so uh yeah really nice info oh, I, again I, I love this style I, I may have to uh, i may have to use a bit of that for inspiration because that looks really just smart and neat um tour tickets ice cream <laughs> <laughs> An ATM, uh, the host, which is a restaurant, uh, and then if we look out over here, I mean the the views are great. The the terraforming that has been done on this is um, is fantastic. And obviously we've got a viewpoint here so that guests come and uh, admire the view. It's off the exit of the chairlift as well, so. I mean, look, look, just look at that. It, it is fantastic. That that is not easily done. That takes some effort to put into that. Um, so I think that's everything on that side. So now we'll go over to uh, Devil's Pass. Nice little snowman over there. Like that. It's just a little bit of detail, like the you know the the docking bay here with the boats it's the little bits of detail as well as you know as well as thinking oh my my idea is to build a coaster uh inside a volcano um you know it's thinking oh i could put i could put a little boat stand here that that would go with it nice and you know it does um so yeah really uh really nice ideas there some uh shops here uh what else we got? 
Uh, some more shops, and then the path that goes up. So we've got some <laughs> seats every so often. All the way up here. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks good. What? What are these there? They... Oh, oh, is it a fire pit? Is a... I, I didn't know a fire pit was a piece. Okay. Well, I, uh, I've learned something new there. Breakfast. And some more shops and toilets. In case, of course, you've got halfway up that mountain and thought, you know what, I want some food and I need the loot. Um, yeah, very nice. Very nice setting. Through here. And look at that for view. That looks awesome. Yeah, re really nice place to put a viewpoint in that. I mean, look at look inside here. This is this is awesome. This is awesome work. I, I can't I can't imagine how long the terraforming took to do this. Must have had his his finger held down on the button for so long. <laughs> All the way up here. And we get to some more shops. And the sun is just setting. So I may uh, I may switch the time in a moment when it gets dark. But it's quite nice it's quite nice to see parks at different times of day. I often keep kind of just look around them um with the with the time fixed, but sometimes it's nice to see this to see what it looks like at various points. Um I like the uh, I like the candles in the in the jar on the table. Fish and chips. That's what that's what would be calling me over with the uh, with the British in me. What you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. Silex. That's that's a nice message. It's a nice little motto. Oh. Um, the game appears to have frozen. Yep, I can't get the hood back. Um, operation failed. Yeah, there we go. Um, I I think I had this on one of his other parks when I looked at the cube. Um, it said operation failed on that one, and I think it's when it's trying to auto save. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully that doesn't pop up again. It may do, or it may not. Um, so what have we got here? We've got a submarine tour. Uh, well then we'll go on that, I think. So this, this the guests can't come down here. Because it's not a normal path. So we've got the little boats there again. I'm going to uh, flip this back to daytime. I love the colours. I love the blue and white. It is a very nice, very nice um, coloured park. So here's the submarine that it's built. So you'd go up there and get in. Look at that. And then, so the idea is when, when they, put, when they uh, dock up, they, uh, th these kind of footbridges lower, like this one. Um, but yeah, that, that's that's awesome. That's an awesome look looking submarine. And the idea is that you go down under here, and uh, you have a tour. Yeah, very nice. I like that. Very nicely done. Down here, over what? Appears to be the coaster, so uh, I'm look. I'm very looking forward to seeing what this is like. I am expecting. Well, I, I I don't know actually. I don't actually know what to expect because I know Silex's imagination is just something I can't comprehend. <laughs> nice, uh, nice menus there. Also, also really like the way he's used them lights. This is those uh, lights on that panel, isn't it? Yeah. 
I love the way he's used them. That looks great. That is, that's a really smart little building, that. Really impressed with that. So, this, uh, as I say, I'm getting closer to the coaster station, which is all this building, as you can see. Um, so, it, I mean, it's a nice, it's a very nice feature building. And the way he's used them lights again up here, hanging off the top. Very nice. Look at the way, look at the way this has been done. He's manually built all of these. I mean, the architecture on that is very impressive. Honestly, that is so good. So we've got a, a people drive. <laughs> so that, that's as you come off the exit. So we'll, uh, oh, we're almost getting there. We'll just see everything else around here. So we have a, a barbecue ribs place. So Royston Valley in Area 51. Some of his other stuff. Um, hot and spicy. It's a nice way to use the animatronics there to create a sort of a full on bar. It's just a nice, um, nice kind of touch, really. Uh, right. Is there anything else around here before we go on the coaster? There's the, there's the toilets. Lotus Flower by Boz Midget Slayer. So yeah, I, I remember seeing um, this that Boz made. I mean, it's just a fantastic design. This is it's a lovely little piece, and it, it goes it goes well with it goes well with this area. To be fair, it's like a nice sort of um, focal point for guests to go and see. Uh, what have we got up here? So, so these are names are all creators. Um, so you got Chrissy P, I'm Matty, uh, Michael from M and J Games, K Kissed, Fistful of Herbs, me. <laughs> um, there's Boz, and it, it, so there's there's so many um, so many different creators. What's the point here in red? Planko Tycoons look up at the workshop. So yeah, all of these names, these are all people who have created some fantastic builds on the PS Workshop. Um, so yeah, if you are looking for inspiration, then any of these names on the workshop would, you know, would be a, a great way to to have a look, get some get some ideas, see what see what they've done. Um, so yeah, like I say, re re really nice touch, really nice touch to uh, to put this on here. Um, just around, especially around the, this like globe as well, it's like a a snow a snow globe, not not quite a snow globe. In the traditional sense, but as a snow globe nonetheless. So uh, yeah, very nice, very nice idea that. Uh, water tower. Right, I think it's time to ride Crystal Eye Experience. So back and forth, back and forth. So we get here. And we go down to the station here. So we'll speed it up and uh, and just wait for the train to get back. But I mean, while whilst we're waiting, how good does this building look? He's done such a good job on this. I mean, the the moulds here, the the patterns, the glass. It it looks fantastic. I, I honestly I can't get over how good this station is, and then I love the pink the pink line that just kind of goes through the middle, is another very very nice touch. Right, here we are then. So it is. It's always oh, a flying coaster as well. Wasn't expecting a flying coaster. Um, I'm not going to look at the stats because let's face it, the, the, this isn't attempting to be a realistic coaster, but. It's going to be a very good experience. So, uh, yeah, hop on and um, we shall see what the Crystal Eye experience has to offer.
Well, that was uh, <laughs> that was just breathtaking. How? I mean, I, I wasn't expecting as much as this. I, I mean, on on all these videos that I do, I don't, I don't have a look round into um, you know into everything because I want my reaction to be the, my first genuine reaction. Um, and my days, what a what a build that is! I don't I don't even know where to begin. I don't know how far that goes down. Um, I mean, just some of the stuff down here, this, you know, this whale here, um, is terraforming that, you know, that, that is what that is, what it is. It, it's not, it's not a piece in the game. All the terraforming around here, all the plants and the lights, you know, everything in it looked fantastic. It was so well lit. The, um, the sounds as well. When, um, I need to try and find the section now. Uh, down was it down this bit no um but there's another submarine um i'm just trying to go back out so yeah when it when it first goes underwater here and you go past these these dolphins that he's built and you can hear the dolphin noise as well he's even got the sounds there but look how look how crazy this looks down here and it's so so well done so nicely lit and yeah, honestly, everything down here is just absolutely, uh, absolutely breathtaking. So he's got icicles together there. Luckily, that operation failed. Um, it's the auto save um, that it's not that it's not working on this part for some reason. Um, but luckily, that didn't come up whilst we was on the coaster. Um, but yeah, I mean, you you can just get lost. I mean, one of the things I'd like to question is how on earth did he build this and still managed to not get lost as to where he was. That must have been so hard to try and do. Um, use these little animatronics here. Nice. But yeah, there's so many, so many details down here that I, I can't, I can't fathom how long this must have taken to, to sequence, to time, to decorate. I mean, you know, look at look at that in terms of the the rocks um, from the terra, you know, from the terraforming um, and the terrain work. And here you've got all the. Uh, we'll try and follow. We'll try and follow the coast around. And here you've got all the uh, all the, you know all the different decorations. Come out here to a nice big open area. It's 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 just it's just amazing, amazing stuff. Um. And then, oh yeah, we end up going down here, don't we? So we go even further down underground, and then this room is lit up really nice because, obviously, when you're on the coaster, the um, the times set to night time, so it's like that, and that's why it's very um, it's very beneficial to use a time machine if you want people to ride a coaster at a certain time, rather than saying, oh, please put it in night mode for this, just put a time machine on the coaster and um, and do it automatically because uh, then you get a room like this and it looks um, well it looks brilliant doesn't it? Um, we'll, we'll go back to daytime just so I can see where I'm going Th this thing was great I love that that's a great creation I love that and then you go around here and you go into one into one's mouth to another mouth and then yeah just again the room rooms like this just look so so awesome the way he's lit them the way he's lit up this room and it was also the music as well the music he had playing on the coaster as you kind of because at some points you were kind of going quite fast through these things um but then some rooms you'd get into and you'd be able to just kind of float by i mean look at this this is how do you? I I honestly I wouldn't know how to decorate a room like that and and have it spaced out enough so that it it looked as nice as this does. I really don't. Um, but yeah, you know, just as you float through a room a room like this, it it just gave such a really nice feel, um, a really nice sort of, you know, it was almost like you were doing like an underwater safari at some point. Um, and as you come on here, you got the terraforming of the face again. 
yeah, it's really this. This really is a one of a kind. I've I've not seen an underwater coaster on definitely on Planet Coaster console um, that's like this. And then also right at the end, uh, hang on, where, where are we going here? Um, also right at the end, the fact that he put the uh, the pressure um, the pressure like warning where pressure equalization that was it. Um, to kind of bring you back up to to the main bit was uh, was really uh, really nice touch. All the jellyfish in here. Try not get stung. See, I'm I'm just getting lost following this train. I honestly, <laughs> it's just it's just crazy. I mean, I'm flying past these whales at the minute, but the whales look fantastic as well. Here we are, attention, pressure, equalization, and then the bubbles. Um, yeah, the, bu the, the bubbles were golden on there, and I don't know whether that was a lighting effect, but they seem to be golden when we uh, when we were riding it. But I don't know whether that was like a time machine thing or what. But um, yeah, and then we come back out onto uh, onto the main main area. But what what a creation that is! That is honestly just it's breathtaking that is that really is a superb underwater ride um completely unrealistic without without being able to breathe underwater but i I honestly don't care what a uh, what a build um what a build that is so what I think we'll do we'll uh, we'll finish by uh, having a ride on the chairlift um going down the mountain I think we'll speed this up. And we'll start going down the mountain any second now. There we go. So, uh, so yeah, if you uh, if you have enjoyed that, I'll leave the details to uh, Crystal Eye um, where you can find it on the workshop. If you do want to take a look at it yourself, I absolutely 100% recommend looking at it yourself. As much as I enjoy making the videos and, and showing them to you guys and you know kind of giving them the uh, attention they deserve. I I also acknowledge that it's much better to watch this on your own PS, you know, PS4, PS5, because what you can't see on YouTube is, you know, is is the whole thing. There's no way you can get the whole thing on YouTube. So yeah, definitely go and check it out. If you have enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you are new. And I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.